Well, we made it to Friday. Happy Friday. We may have to start over. Looks like we have a weak connection. So, we're going to do that. There we go. We started out with a little weak connection, but we're okay now. Happy Friday. Red Friday. Remember everyone deployed Friday. We're red in support of our military everywhere, all over the world. Down the street. Remember them always. Only a small percentage of the population enters the military. And they enter into a relationship that's lifelong. There is nothing like the military. No experience. So we've been working on inner, inner work all week. And I had a few things for you to do. Did you do them? Did you go look in the mirror? Have a talk out loud? Did you talk to someone you don't like to talk to? Hi, Kathy. Thanks for stopping. Love the hat. Thank you. That's my camping hat. Did you talk to somebody you don't like talking to? Talk to them in a different way. From a different perspective. Getting out, out of the head and into the heart. Being a genuine person. To most of us, that's impossible. Because something happened to us very early on in life. A very high emotional value. And when that happened, it created amnesia around that. Well, nothing's broken there. That, your, your mind is designed to do that, protect you against something. New problem happens, though. Yeah, you can't remember that. That's good. But now, the, the device or this, this energy that's used to protect now controls other parts of your brain. A few years later, you start to develop the ability to start and stop repetitive thoughts. Repetitive thought would be, you hear a sound, a, the music playing a certain song, first thing in the morning, you can't shake it all day long. Well, that's not so bad because you know pretty well that eventually the song's gonna go away. For people who deal with PTSD, anxiety issues, hi Simone, um, sexual trauma, military sexual trauma, suicide ideation. Nothing shuts off 24 seven. Wake up in the middle of the night in a pool of sweat. Terrified. Walk up ne wake up next to a loved one. You have your hands around their neck. That stuff is not so nice. Doing the inner work. I'm going to send praise and a hope to North Dakota. They're having a nice day. It's nice winds from the south today. At Standing Rock Reservation. Help protecting us from the oil companies ruining our, our fresh water. They're doing brave work up there. You know, it's one thing to go camping for a few days. You know you're going home. People of Standing Rock have got new things to think about. They've organized a school. They've organized a city. They have organized what they are going to need for the upcoming winter. Because if you've seen photographs of Standing Rock, there is nothing out there to protect them against the winds and blowing snows. It's going to be hard. People are going to die. Die for what they believe in. Like the military. 
we believe in what we do and we want to protect our families in America. But we'll go in harm's way. They're protecting the world. Oh, blessings to you. They do the inner work. You know, indigenous people have a saying and a teaching that they teach each other. You cannot give what you do not have. So you can't give love if you don't love yourself. Make sense? If you can't give love because you don't love yourself, what love you do give is inconsistent and it won't come back. And if it does come back, it's very inconsistent and weak. I talked about that Wednesday. Michael, hello. Well, Alessandro, ciao. So, I gave you some things to think about this week. Go to Terry Earthwind Nichols and look on my profile and where the more button is, click on the videos and then click on the my videos there and um, watch a whole bunch of videos. You can go to YouTube. I put these up on YouTube also. Sam Grandi. Grazie. I put them up on YouTube also. Terry Earthwind Nichols on YouTube. We have a whole lot of them up there about a lot of things to think about from the Mentor's Corner. And some other videos of mine. Go there and take a look. Look at a few. Maybe you know someone who, who could really benefit from some things I've said. Inner work. This week we've talked about the inner work. In certain cultures, indigenous cultures, they got it right. Okay? Mainstream America, mainstream world, what we call Main Street world. They have become so disjointed from self that they're searching for self on electronics like these phones. I grew up without phones. My phone was rotary. Okay, I'm 63 years old. Computers are not part of my world until I was almost out of the Navy. And now I have a phone that's more powerful than my computer in the Navy. Crazy, huh? I love it. I was having a conversation with uh, other men in my group, and I invite all you men that are listening or will be listening to this. Uh, two words, it's a Facebook group, gentle men, two words. Look into it. We were talking, Hawaii, all over the United States, all of us at, live at one time, as if we were in the same room sitting down. And we were loving it, just being men. Not long, locker room, manly man, just being ourselves for ourselves and for each other. Uh, kind of a support group. We haven't, we're still building it. It's brand new. It's only about six weeks old. And the vision is to t make it bigger in support of, of, of gentle men. Gentle men are not gentlemen. They're gentle men. Okay. Some of them are introverted. Some of them have... Um, have become present with the need and the desire to learn more about themselves from other men. I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged about it. And anybody from anywhere in the world, I, I believe it's a Facebook closed group, Gentle Men. Give it a chop. Inner work. I'm doing my inner work right now. I'm sitting outside my office. I don't know if you can pick up the sounds of the birds. A very slight breeze. Beautiful day here. I'm up in the mountains of Asheville, in Asheville, North Carolina, in the Smoky Mountains. And quite often, the, the fog goes going through the mountains first thing in the morning. You wake up and it looks like smoke. 
Very cool. Makes it easy to do the inner work. Inner work is by part of my daily routine. My daily pattern, I like to say. Because I want to be present with myself and love me so I can then send love out to other people in genuine way. I've not always been this way. I've found this piece. Once I found this piece, my spiritual journey began. Many of you know it, and that is to world peace. Bringing the people of the world back together as one. It's a fun job. And you know that evolutionaryhealer.com is the place in the home of repetitive behavior cellular regression. For those of you that are looking to stop repetitive behaviors that you can't uh, stop, whatever it is, can't sm stop smoking, alcoholism, PTSD, sexual trauma, anxiety, we're open 24-7. We never close. Best thing to do is PM me here because I have a special tone that goes off and I can then reach out to you and we can go on Skype or whatever works. Hello Mel, welcome. Today is a special day for you and for me because today is the first day of the rest of your life and you get to change how it looks today and how it's going to look tomorrow consciously and if you need help no worries we're here for you thank you so much this is the end of three months of, of programming three three times a week we got a lot of videos Terry Earthwind Nichols at YouTube hi Stacy uh, I followed your trip down to South America. Great fun. Glad you're back and safe. And thumbs up to you too. So, this ends Inner Week, Inner Work this week. If you want to know more about Inner Work, contact us at evolutionaryhealer.com. If you're interested in talking to me um, about a mentor program that's suited to you, they're all individual, they're custom, according to the needs of of my um, mentor, okay? Evolutionaryhealer.com, or you can contact me here on on Facebook. Um, I suggest you uh, private message me; makes it easier. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being part of my life, and thank you for letting me be a part of your life. I hope you share these videos about inner work. Because there's at least one person that all of us knows that can be helped by what we do here. Blessings to you. Have a good weekend. Stay safe out there.